Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for the Weekend Energy beginning October the 25th through the 27th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you'd like to have your own personal reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to see you as soon as you schedule your appointment. And don't forget to bring the discount code below for our savings for Trick or Treat. I love you guys. I hope you can enjoy this wonderful savings and see what's going on in your lives as we move together in this beautiful energy. Remember, we remain relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, and using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. As we move forward in this energy, let's see what the cards have to say, my darlings. Ooh, we got the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. This energy is very much in a place where you feel very satisfied, safe, and secure, as well as receiving your heart's desire. This is the heart's desire being granted, the Nine of Cups, with the Knight of Swords, which is very fast, out of the blue, all of a sudden energy. So it can be someone that you you just run into and have this immediate chemistry, or someone who finally comes and tells you how they actually feel, or finding out that you have this beautiful energy all along. It's just been not completely activated. Sometimes the Knight of Swords kind of throws the catalyst into it. It's a sudden knowing. It can be somebody reaching out to you. It can come in any form. So remain open to this beautiful energy. And your heart's desire being granted doesn't have to mean relationship. It could be the thing that you've been trying to work toward. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Oh, yes. So we've got the nine, which came first, and the ten, the ten of rods. So that's a beautiful energy of progression. And the burden is lifted. The struggle is over. Whatever's been blocking you or holding you back, you can lay that down. And this is success in this energy. So very much in the energy of receiving your heart's desire. Truly aligning there with that Ten of Wands. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. Okay, so we have our three cards out. And our underlier is, hello. So if you were skeptical about the nine of, or the 10 of rods with the nine of cups, now you've got the 10 of cups. So that is a definite progression from the heart's desire being granted. Beautiful energy. This means the happily ever after, the energy of everything coming to full, open creation. So living your best possible life is certainly aligned with that Ten of Cups energy. Everybody loves this card. So very solid with good fortune to boot. Uh, good fortune is our next card. Allowing yourself to be open and receive that energy, knowing that it surrounds you. Good fortune is around me all the time, every day, you know, all day long, right? And receiving that energy. When you believe that into being, you create that vibrational frequency to make that so. That's what manifesting is all about, is aligning your vibrational frequency with the reality that you choose. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Well, they're everywhere, right? So if you if you believe that for yourself and you understand that sometimes they don't come in um, exactly how you would have pictured them or what the logic would tell you that it would be, be open because it's saying it's everywhere and the prospects are there. You just have to be able to see the opportunity for something that you want to move forward with. And flow is certainly moving forward. This is where we align ourselves with allowing ourselves to surrender to the process. That doesn't mean surrendering your free will. It means surrendering your resistance to outside the box thinking, right? Stepping out of your comfort zone. 
Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. This is just like saying I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. This is where we have to be open and and don't always think that it can only come in through a method that you're aware of. Because <laughs> there's a lot that we are still learning throughout our entire lifetimes. We don't know everything. Uh, I don't think anybody does, even up to the point you could live 100 years and still not know everything, even if you were making yourself a student of life. Yes. <laughs> Big exclamation point on that. Universe agrees. Be open to the energy of creation, for it is in being open that you can create the beautiful unseen things that are out there working in your energy right now. And just because you, you're not aware of how it's going to come in doesn't mean it's not possible. So all possibilities are absolutely unlimited. We allow the universe to bring us exactly what we need. Thank you, universe. And throat chakra, what you say, including complaining, is what you create. So careful with what you're talking about out loud because the vibration of your own voice is actually sending out the frequency of what you're trying to attract. So make sure you state even even problematic things try to state them in a way that opens them up for for a solution or to turn out for your highest good right even though this may be happening it's going to turn out to be something that is for my highest good the frequency of the throat chakra the blue flower of life supports our self expression and our sense of peace and balance so speak in a way that all things align that you're in a place where you're creating that outcome and not perpetuating remember you hear me say pray the answer not the problem speak it as though it is done and receive it in your heart as as that's your truth we have guardian angel trust all unfolds in perfect timing you are one with divine will Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you. We receive that. Thank you for your protection. If you have not given a permission to be assisted by the guardian angels and angels, then all you have to say is thank you, all angels and guardian angels. I allow your intervention on my behalf. Period. That is it. You only have to do it once, just like everything else. You just set your intention. Acceptance. There is nothing in your life to fix, only the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. You are beautiful just as you are, regardless of any faults you may perceive you have. You are an eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. That means you don't feel like there's something missing within yourself. Because, my darlings, the only thing missing is your understanding that you are a divine being in a human form, experiencing a 3D realm. That is only possible by being a human. You were born into this in order to experience it. Accept that you are something greater that's able to create different situations in your life through your belief. Okay. There's the Nine of Wands, which we had the Nine of Cups and the, the Ten of Wands. Well, now we have the Nine of Wands saying you're at the very second. So, so let's just say at the beginning you had the nine of cups and the 10 of wands. And now you have the nine of wands and the 10 of cups. Mm. So either way, crisscross applesauce, <laughs> it's a fabulous thing. It's telling you don't give up five minutes before your miracle. You're at the point of the breakthrough. Any second, you will be able to make your move. Hello, there's the nine of cups again. So wouldn't that be funny if that's the... <laughs> If that's the nine of rods over here. So very cool energy. The nine of cups coming in. So nine, ten, nine, ten. Right. And let's see what we've got again. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You guys saw me shuffle these. You know, I didn't do it. Wow. 
Oh my God. I mean, I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, if this doesn't get your attention, I don't know what will, because it certainly got mine. So we had these two cards at the beginning. This came in as our underlier, and these three cards came out as our our shuffled energy. Um, this is breakthrough, guys. This is the moment. Let's see what happens. This is the weekend energy. So we have all this time from now through the weekend for wonderful things to come in. So allow the flow. Say yes to what's coming in for you. Speak only what you're trying to create and allow yourself to realize you have to accept your power as a divine being. And that's all you need to do in order to create and manifest what you truly want. I love you guys. Have a magnificent weekend. I can't wait to see the comments. Please comment on this because it is the most spectacular reading I think I've ever put out here. Holy cow. There you go. And so it is. Many blessings, my darlings. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow.